is a new type of technology that's being brought to the Mississippi Delta by Energy on Agriculture. It's been used in 78 countries, 36 different type crops. It's known to increase production 25 to 75 percent. We're going to show you tomato plants that have been treated uh, one time. The one on the right's been treated once, and uh, it shows you the one on the left has not. Three days later, it's a significant difference. Uh, it shows a big difference in the root ball. I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, these were done with a spray-on type application. We no longer use that. We have uh, more economical ways of doing this. Uh, they can reach out further. I'm going to show you a bean field now. Uh, typically, this acreage uh, produces 25 to 30 bushels to the acre. Uh, this has not been treated. We're going to show you the field right next to it. They've just separated by a turn row. This is in the same year and it was treated 12 times and you can tell it's it's a much more vibrant plant. It has uh, a lot more beans from top to bottom on it and they harvested uh, a lot more uh, beans. Uh, this is going to show you the comparison uh, side by side so you can see uh, where it was treated 12 times and where it wasn't treated. Next we're going to show you the combine uh, reports where it showed that where we didn't treat it was 35 bushels to the acre and where we did treat it was over 69 bushels. Now we're going right into dry land cotton and this has not been treated. Uh, as you can tell it never lapped over. You can see it at harvest time. There's not, not a whole lot there and it never did uh, lap over after it's been defoliated. Now we're going to go into the treated field which is just right across the paved road from it. It was treated 12 times but we treated this later into the growing season and as you can tell once the leaves got off of it here there was a lot more cotton to be harvested um, at harvest time. So it, it's pretty impressive. Now we're going to show you these uh, fields, uh, pictures of them, the dry land non-treated and the treated uh, dry land and show you the side-by-side -side comparison of them. It's a big difference at harvest time. This type of technology is done very similar to radio frequencies. Uh, all we have to have are the GPS coordinates and it can be sent anywhere. We just have to have the, the coordinates and a uh, map and we can send it anywhere, wherever your farm is, doesn't matter where it's located. Here's pictures of the field that we're working on now. Uh, there have been no treatments done, this is the first day, and then we're going to go into and show you uh, this field, it's the same field, it's been treated uh, two times, no irrigation yet, and you can tell there's a big, big difference in only seven days. So here's the side-by-side -side comparison, uh, let you look at it when we started with no treatment, two treatments, in a week's time, seven days later, you see how much difference it was. And this is the field right across the blacktop from it. And as you can see here, there's no treatment done, but this is the first day, so there's no treatment. And then we came back seven days later, took the pictures. This had been irrigated. Uh, the other field that you saw previously had not been irrigated. And you can tell that there's not that much difference from the start to the end. Uh, so you can tell that the treatments make a, a big, big difference. Here's your side-by-side -side comparison. And then we're going to go into all four of the fields uh, together. So to let you look at both of them side by side, the, the fields that were treated and uh, the fields that were not treated and what they look like seven days apart. If you'd like to have this type of technique done to your farming application, all you have to do is contact us at Energy On Agriculture, Pete Berry, 662-902-2300. We'd love to get you started. We can do it anywhere you're located. All you have to do is get the GPS coordinates and send it to us and let us help you increase your yield. Thank you.